Hey guys, Wasserick here to take a look at my 1991 U.S. Army Desert Storm kit. Now, I'm going to break this down into sections and go over each piece of equipment the best that I can. Now the helmet that I have here is a PASGT helmet, part of the Personal Armor System for Ground Troops, system introduced in the early 1980s. Uh, this helmet right here was manufactured in 1987, and I have a genuine six-color desert chocolate chip cover on it with a desert cat's eyes band, and then a pair of vintage sun, wind, and dust goggles with a ballistic lens. And this is just the standard Kevlar helmet used by the U.S. military from the early 1980s up until the mid-2000s, when it was re replaced in the Army by the advanced combat helmet and in the Marine Corps by the lightweight helmet. Um, but this helmet is still used today by uh, many armed forces around the world. So just a uh, pretty cool helmet. And I said this is a 1987. I've got uh, this one and then I have three other PSGT helmets. One made in uh, 2004, another made in 1985, and then I have another one which uh, I'm unable to determine the date. So I've got a uh, for the Go for it. I've got one with the chocolate chip cover, and then I can also, if necessary, use one with a woodland camouflage cover. This is my 1985 manufacturer, KSGT. All right, so now as appropriate for the conflict, I'm wearing Alice gear. It's basically a rigger's belt with a set of suspenders, all made out of uh, heavy-duty green nylon. And it's, it's a pretty good system, and it served the U.S. military well from its introduction in the early 70s until being phased out around the late 1990s. And it's actually still in use in training. But anyways, so just a common setup for an Alice loadout is um, two triple 30-round magazine pouches for uh, just a regular infantry man who would be carrying the M16A2. A saw gunner would have saw pouches. Uh, you're going to have your E-tool. And then uh, one or two canteens, possibly a bayonet, which I don't have here. And then uh, there's an M12 pistol holster, which I don't have on this belt right now, and possibly an extra magazine pouch. And then on the suspenders themselves, you're going to have usually a flashlight and a compass pouch. With, uh, I believe they're called lensatic compasses. And they're just, they're a pretty good pieces of equipment. So just uh, this is your basic Alice loadout. And you can have either one or two canteens. You see a lot of times there will be two canteens. Right, and the body armor that I have on is the uh, PASGT vest that was issued to troops during the conflict. This was uh, introduced alongside the helmet in the early 1980s to replace the older Fragmentation vest systems than in use. So the one I'm wearing right now doesn't have a cover on it, but you will commonly see this in footage from the Gulf War. A lot of soldiers wear this vest just without the camouflage covers that were made for it. But um, I have another vest right here that actually has the camouflage cover on it. And this uh, vest right here is actually period correct. This uh, is actually a 1987 contract vest. The one I'm wearing is a 91 contract, but this vest right here has a 1990 dated six color desert chocolate chip cover on it. Uh, I can see why a lot of troops would wear the vest without the cover. The cover is very difficult to get on, especially when putting through the, the little shoulder pieces. And it's just, it's a, it's a hassle. And uh, but this, you'll see the troops with and without the cover. So it just um, looks cool, and it adds uh, some padding if you go to shoot, and it's just a, it's a very nice vest. So that's uh, why I like it. Alright, now the uniform that I'm wearing is the Six Color Desert Battle Dress Uniform, issued alongside the Battle Dress Uniform in M80 wood Woodland Camouflage Pattern in the early 1980s. This pattern was actually set to be replaced during the Gulf War by the three color desert pattern, but at the time there weren't sufficient stocks of the three color desert pattern 
to issue to the troops. So troops went into combat wearing this uh, chocolate chip pattern. And the story behind the replacement of the chocolate chip pattern is that the chocolate chip pattern is designed for use in uh, rocky terrain, and this tends to stand out in the open desert as found in Iraq and other places inside the Middle East. Because this is a very dark camouflage, and the rock patterns tend to stand out. So, uh, this was uh, replaced around 1993 by the tricolor desert uniform, but was used throughout the, the Gulf War. Alright, now I'm learning the kind of uh, mop gear that would be issued to troops during the Gulf War. The mask that I'm wearing is the uh, M17. This is more specifically an M17A1. Now the hood I've got on here is not the M6A2 hood, but it's close enough for the purposes of this video. And, uh, the troops uh, were issued the M17A1 and uh, mop gear, such as the kind I have right on here. Because it was widely believed that uh, Saddam Hussein would use uh, chemical weapons against uh, coalition forces. So you'll see many, many pictures of troops wearing their gas masks in training or just in the field. I've got the mop top right here, and then I have the uh, chemical gloves on top of that. And uh, again, the M17A1 gas mask, and uh, on top was the PSTT helmet. So it's a uh, Pretty comfortable, it's not too bad, it's better than the, the communist box suits, but in the desert this would be very, very hot to wear and to fight in. Alright, now for boots, I've got two different options to pick from, as were available to troops during the conflict in Iraq. So I've got these uh, desert boots right here of the type issued during the Gulf War with a uh, Panama sole. And then I have jungle boots right here with a ripple sole and a steel shank inside them. Both pairs of boots were used by troops during the Gulf War. From what I researched, not everybody had access to the desert boots, so you will see troops wearing the chocolate chip uniform with the jungle boots. And then finally, as I've shown in my previous videos, I have my Alice pack. This is the medium Alice pack, and I have a chocolate chip Alice pack cover on it. Uh, just uh, you'll see troops with the covers on their Alice pack during Desert Storm, just to aid in concealment. Again, this is just a standard OD green pack, and the cover adds a camouflage capability to it in the desert.